the saying, of course. Hmm? Word is you've developed a taste for certain company. And why not, say I? A man like you in his prime, she'd be a very fortunate young lady. Marianne Dashwood would no more think of me than she would of you, John. Brandon, my boy, do not think of yourself so meanly. But all the better for her. Besotted. <laughs> An excellent match. But he's rich and she's handsome. How long have you known the Colonel? Oh, Lord bless you. As long as ever I've been here, and I came 15 years back. His estate at Delaford is but four miles hence, and he and John are very thick. He has no wife and children. He, he had a tragic history. He loved a girl once. 20 years ago now, a ward to his family, but they were not permitted to marry. On what grounds? Money. Eliza was poor. When the father discovered their amour, she was flung out of the house. He was packed <laughs> up into the army. I think he would have done himself a harm if not for John. What became of the lady? Oh, she was passed from man to man. Disappeared from all good society. When Brandon came back from India, he searched heaven knows how long, only to find her dying in a poorhouse. Once, I thought my daughter Charlotte might have cheered him up, but she's better off where she is. <laughs> but look at him now, so attentive. <laughs> I think I shall try a little experiment on him. Oh, no. Mrs. Jennings, please, leave the poor Colonel alone. No, 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 my dear, it's just a thing. All suitors need a little help. <laughs> Colonel Brandon, we have not heard you play for us of late. There's a simple reason that you have a far superior musician here. Perhaps you did not know, Miss Marion, that our dear Brandon shares your passion for music. He plays the pianoforte very well. Oh, come. I trow you know as many melancholy tunes as Miss Marianne. <laughs> You must play as a duet. Let us see you both side by side. I do not know any duets. Forgive me, Colonel. 